What is guinea pig about so early in the morning? What are all those plans and drawings? Guinea has just completed testing his first aircraft. Roderick is out for his morning constitutional. Good morning, Guinea. Oh, good morning, Roderick. Hmm, very fancy, very fancy, my friend, but exactly what is it, hmm? Well, it's the design for my aeroplane, Roddy, my new flying machine. Oh, flying machine, is it? Oh, now I've heard everything. Guinea tries his best to explain the principles of heavier-than-air flight to Roderick, but the rat simply cannot understand. Oh, it's impossible, Guinea, impossible. And besides, it's in very bad taste. Progress, Roddy, progress. Why, everybody's flying these days, everybody. Yes, but they're still using balloons if they've got any common sense, aren't they? Well, perhaps you're right, Roderick. But imagine delivering the Riverbank Mail in a flying machine. Flying machine? Guinea begins construction immediately. He works right round the clock for days on end. And before the month is out, he's ready for the second test flight. Uh, what's Guinea be doing lately, Roderick? Hmm? Oh, he's building some sort of unlikely contraption, Hammy. That Guinea is the busiest pig I know. What's he building this time, Roddy? Hmm? Oh, he calls it a flying machine or something, or I don't know. Hammy stops his lunch right then and there and dashes off to have a look. Needless to say, Roderick follows. The hamster is fascinated. Oh, what a marvellous machine. What a magnificent machine. Oh, whoa. Hammy, come here. But there's no stopping Hammy now. Oh, Giddy, what lovely wheels. You mean undercarriage, Hammy? Yes, but that's the least of my worries. Um, Hammy, stop making a nuisance of yourself. Oh, oh, Giddy, may I look inside, please? Careful, Hammy. Now behave yourself. The hamster is behaving himself, or at least he's trying to. He isn't going to break anything, he just wants to look. Oh, by the way, honey, don't touch the propeller. Or, oh, 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 what have I done? Oh, my, oh, my goodness, what have I done? How do I turn it off? And Hammy tries to find a way to stop the runaway engine and the terrible noise. Guinea isn't much help since he never had it running himself, and so Hamster is left to solve the problem alone. I suppose I could stop it the way I started it, but it might hurt a bit. Here it goes. No. Oh! Oh! And that did it. And he continues to explore the machine in wonder and great admiration, 
stepping about very gingerly so as not to disturb anything further. Hammy, you stay out of trouble, you hear? Well, now, um, how about a demonstration, Guinea, if you think it'll work? Uh, are you sure, Guinea? Well, there's, there's no doubt about it, Mr. Lamster. If you'd care to assist in collecting the riverbank mail, we'll be off. Hammy handles the mail sack as any eager assistant postman would. Mr. Turtle and the wise old frog both decide to try the new service. Frog writes a letter to Turtle, and Turtle writes a letter to Frog. Hammy collects the mail and puts it in the official bag. Well, ready when you are, Mr. Lamster. Hand it up. The turtle's fascinated by the whole idea. Right then. Stand clear. Hemi, Hemi, come back. You're too young. Hemi. Stand by. Prepare for takeoff. so quickly. Oh boy. Hammy has never traveled so fast before in all his life. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. Faster, faster. Guinea flies the aeroplane much the same way as he drives his Jeep. He is, to put it mildly, a little reckless. But Hammy is having the time of his life. They've gone. They've gone. I'll never see Hammy again. I wouldn't be sure of that, Roderick. Listen, I hear something. Hammy, look out! By this time, Hammy's almost had enough and says that he'd like to go down now if Guinea doesn't mind. At your service, Mr. Call Pilot. Hang on to your hat if you've got one. <laughs> hamster is dazed and stunned. However, he soon gets his bearings and is more than glad to get his feet back on the solid ground. Guinea checks the aeroplane and decides that the only damage is to the mail scattered over the ground, and Roderick is relieved to see his favourite hamster safe and sound. Hammy asks if he can help Guinea, since he asked Guinea to come down, but Guinea manages quite well by himself. 
And how about our mail? Now, there's something you can do, Hammy. As Postmaster General of the Riverbank, I hereby delegate you to deliver the mail. Delighted with his new position, the hamster distributes his letters immediately. Why, it's from uh, the wise old frog. <laughs> How nice. I do, uh... Why, I do believe it's from dear old turtle. How thoughtful. The first flight of the Riverbank Airmail Service has been accomplished, thanks to guinea pig and his co-pilot, Hammy. <laughs>